Hey guys and welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video I'm going to be looking at what other formats could we see on Evercade? Which of these are likely to appear and which are just never going to happen? Without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Okay, first uh, format we're looking at is MSX and this is Metal Gear. Now I'm not saying we're going to see this because probably we would need to get Konami on board to get the license I guess, especially this game um, and it's one of those games I think it would be great for this to see a wider audience because primarily MSX was obviously released um, as an 8-bit computer and the Eastern sort of audiences, um, probably mainly Japan, it was released in other countries right enough but primarily it was released in Japan. Um, by Microsoft, but um, will we see this on Evercade? I really don't know. I don't really think we'll see this game, for example. This is really just like a placeholder. Um, but there's possibility we could see MSX as a format, not necessarily as a MSX collection, but we could maybe see some games appearing on some indie heroes collections, maybe. If you look at Antstream Arcade, for example, there are a few MSX games appeared on there recently, um, and I think if we were going to see MSX, it's most likely going to be games like that, maybe homebrew games that we would maybe expect rather than games like Metal Gear. I think it's a possibility. I think it's definitely up there that we could potentially see it on like Indie Heroes Collection, maybe even Mega Cats, depending on who picks up the licenses for these games. Okay, next we could possibly see a PC Engine Turbo Graphics Collection, um, or we could see a, sp a specific game that is from Turbo Graphics or PC Engine on a collection. And um, I think there's a good possibility that this one could actually happen. Um, I thought the PC Engine uh, Mini that was released a couple of years ago was probably one of the best minis that was released. I had a great selection of games on it, and. Um, I certainly think it would be great to get a few carts from that collection if they could uh, sort of get some license agreements, I guess, um, in place. That would be fantastic. There's a lot of really, really good games in there that um, certainly deserves a wider audience. I think the, the Turbo Graphics PC Engine um, wasn't really well known over here. It was obviously released Turbo Graphics in North American's PC Engine um, over in sort of Japan, but. Um, yeah, as a European sort of audience, it's not really something that was overly popular. Um, I suppose it wasn't really overly successful in North America either, but yeah, it would still be great to see some of these games on a collection or even maybe one or two on a specific cart. That would be great. Okay, one format I'm pretty sure we will never see is Nintendo 64 on Evercade. Just given the fact that the emulation is really pretty awful, even in this video the emulation isn't great. Um, emulation isn't even great on Nintendo Switch, um, which is obviously a lot more powerful than an Evercade handheld. Um, even on a Steam Deck the emulation is all over the place, sometimes good, sometimes not. So given the fact that the Evercade is probably a little bit um, <laughs> underpowered in comparison, there's no chance that we're going to see a Nintendo 64 game running on Evercade.
an amazing intro from Interplay, and this is Out of This World, otherwise known as Another World in other formats, um, such as Amiga, um, Mega CD, that kind of thing. Um, but this is the 3DO version of this, and I think there's no chance of this happening as well. Much like Nintendo 64, the emulation isn't good enough um, to be able to bring this to our kid. This looks fantastic and sounds really good, um, but I don't think we'll ever see this format on um, Evercade. We might even see this game on Evercade, however, on maybe Amiga. But um, as 3DO, as a game format on Evercade, not a chance. I don't think so. That's a shame because there's a lot of really good games that most people never played, which would be great to play. Okay, so one format that I think we should see at some point is a Game Gear game on Evercade. Now, I know I see a lot of people asking for a Game Gear collection, but I don't really think it's going to work like that. It's kind of asking like for a Mega Drive collection or a Nintendo collection of some sort. It just doesn't make sense. I think it's more likely that we will see a Game Gear version of a specific game on a collection. Um, I put this example in here is that perhaps if we got a Gremlin Collection 2, maybe if you put the two carts in, it would unlock like the Game Gear version of Zool, for example. Um, I think that's the most likely scenario. Uh, the other scenario I think is maybe like a homebrew game that's on Game Gear that we might see as a hidden game or maybe a game they add to a cart. I don't know. I think we'll certainly see one at some point, but I don't think we will see like a Game Gear Collection more a Game Gear game on some sort of format somewhere. Okay, the next format we're looking at is Sega 32X, which should have a good possibility of appearing somewhere on Evercade, perhaps at some point. Um, and this game we're looking at is BC Racers, which was from Core Design. Um, but I can't actually remember who owns uh, Core Design games anymore, whether it still is Core Design or it's been took over by some other company. I can't really remember, but they definitely produced a lot of games on 32X um, and Mega CD, what we're looking at next. Um, and this is pretty good, this would be really good to have on Evercade. Um, the emulation should be fine because because it's more or less uses the same emulators that um, Sega Mega Drive uh, used, so emulation should be fine, the Evercade should be perfectly capable of playing these games. Um, this is the Mega CD game I'm talking about as well, Wolfchild, which is from Core Design as well. Um, not an amazing game, but I think a lot of these things would be quite fun to play, because not a lot of people experienced these games uh, back in the day. I think there's a high possibility we could see them, Maybe in a core design collection, maybe on a format or on a cart somewhere. Um, it's possible. I'm not sure what the specific licensing is with 32X and Sega CD. I'm not sure what extra um, Blaze would need, but I think there's a, certainly an outside chance that we could see these at some point. Okay, so this is obviously Sega Saturn, this is Gex, which is a good game, but I don't really see this happening um, on Evercade. We might actually see Gex maybe at some point, but probably most likely the, the PlayStation version if we ever did see it um, from Dynamic Creation, I think it was. Um, but yeah, Saturn, never going to happen because the emulation just isn't quite there. Um, you really need a really decent, powerful device to be able to play these games really well. Um, so on Evercade, it's definitely not going to happen. This was for Johnny. Now, could we see Dreamcast on Evercade? I'm not sure. I think there's a better chance of Dreamcast than some of the other ones we've looked at, like N64 um, and Sega Saturn, for example. I think the emulators are definitely better. A lot of the games play really well on reasonably powered devices, so I think certainly Dreamcast could run on an Evercade device, but whether 
they do that or not, I'm not entirely sure. And obviously it all depends on which game they could actually use and whether they could get the licence for um, the emulation for Dreamcast. But I think there's a small, small chance it could happen. So with home computers now a thing on Evercade, could we see an Amstrad collection? Now I'm not entirely sure, um, the licensing probably still owned by Alan Sugar I believe, um, so whether that could happen, I don't know, it would probably be really expensive to try and get this on Evercade, so I think it's probably more likely we'll see more C64 and perhaps maybe even Spectrum which we'll look at uh, next, but... Amstrad, it would be good because there's a lot of games out there that would be really good for um, the home computer brand. So something that I think's got a really good chance of appearing on our home computer label um, is Spectrum. Surely we will see a Spectrum collection at some point. Um, I know there's a lot of fans out there for Spectrum. A lot of these games haven't aged very well right enough. Much like the C64 and Atari 2600. But there's a lot of nostalgia out there for Spectrum. I think it would be very, very popular. I'd love to see some of these games. Maybe even get some of the old Dizzy games as well onto there. Which would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed that this one happens. I think it's got a really good high chance that we might even see that this year. Okay, could we see a Neo Geo SNK collection appear on Evercade? This one certainly stands a good chance. I've seen a lot of these games appear on like sites like Piepacker, for example. Um, so there's a chance that the licensing is very much possible that we could see a Neo Geo collection, an SNK Metal Slug collection, I don't know. I think it's very uh, plausible. Um, I'd love to see that. I think... Uh, Metal Slug Collection would be absolutely mind-blowing. These games are so much fun to play um, and it would be great to get a card. I think it would be really, really popular if we could. Thank you. Thank you. Machine gun. Okay, so if we got SNK on board, would it be possible then to get a Neo Geo Pocket Color Collection, um, which would be really fantastic. There was a lot of really good games on uh, the Neo Geo Pocket Color, but it didn't have a very long existence. Um, it did actually appear in the UK, but very briefly. I remember buying it with a uh, copy of Sonic um, and Bubble Bobble, I think it was at the time, and Pac-Man. Um, it was really nice handheld, didn't have a very well lit back screen, but it was nice and it had a lot of really good games. Um, so I'm sure it would be very welcome. There's probably a lot of people who never heard of it or never even played any of the games. And it would be great to get this game, uh, the Turf Masters game, which is really good fun. We certainly need more golf games on Evercade. Uh, but yeah, let's hope, fingers crossed, if SNK get on board, we can get Neo Geo Pocket Color, we get Neo Geo of all sorts onto Evercade. That would be massive if we could get that. Okay, since we're on golf games, let's have a look at Let's Golf, which is on the PSP, which brings me to the fact that this will never happen on Evercade. Don't see PSP happening at all, due to probably licensing and the fact that the Evercade might not be capable of playing PSP games. It might be able to play some games, but the emulation is kind of all over the place for uh, reasonably powered devices, so I don't think this is going to happen at all. It would be really nice right enough, but yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, this one's probably a little bit out there. This is Supervision, um, and this game's called Carrier, which is a kind of a puzzle style game. Um, and this was a handheld that was released round about the same time as the original Game Boy. Um, obviously, it wasn't anywhere near as successful, but will we see a collection? Uh, I really don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if there was enough decent games on the, sort of collect, the, the Supervision, but mm, I don't know. I'm not even sure who owns the license and whether it's possible or what, but these games emulate okay. There certainly would be a possibility of getting a cart of maybe 20 games or so out there, but 
I'm not sure. There's an outside chance. It would be really nice. I guess it'd be good for Blaze to sort of pick it up and, and keep that um, supervision going and get the recognition out there for it. But yeah, I'm not really totally sure it'll ever happen, to be honest. Okay, next one on the list is something I'm kind of surprised it's not happened before, and that is Atari ST Collection. Now that we've got Amiga, will we get an Atari ST Collection? Given the fact that um, Blaze have got a, quite a reasonably um, close relationship with Atari um, over the, the number of years, I'm surprised we've never had a collection um, yet. But will it happen? I'm not sure. I think there might be an issue with the actual emulation itself. Um, could we get a Bitmap Brothers collection with this game, Magic Pockets? Not sure. I think if we did get this game, it would probably be the Amiga version um, from Bitmap Brothers. But will we ever see Atari ST on Evercade? It's hard to say, to be honest. I'm not really sure if it'll ever happen. I think there's a possible outside bet, but playing some of these games, the emulation isn't amazing, um, and it definitely needs a lot of like keyboard integration to get some of the games moving and starting, so... I'm not really convinced it will ever happen, to be honest, which is a bit of a shame, I guess. Okay, what about Atari 5200? Could we ever see a version of those games appear on a collection or one of the Atari collections that we could maybe get in future? Don't really know. We've obviously had Atari 2600 and 7800, but never actually 5200 for some reason. Um, but if, if you look at this game, for example, Galaxian, I actually think the 2600 version of this is far superior, which is absolutely bonkers, and maybe that tells you enough about the 5200. So could we see a Wonderswan colour collection? Um, and this was a little handheld, it was released in Japan only I think, so it was it never actually seen the light of day um, in Europe or America or anywhere outside of Japan, but could we see the games on a collection? Could they license them? I really don't know. I, I think one of the problems with these games is that they are obviously um, got a lot of Japanese text in them, so most of the games would be completely unsuitable for um, Western audiences. But there might be a chance of some games appearing. I think there's a very, very slim chance we could ever see a collection um, from Wonderspawn. So one game I'm pretty sure will appear and format is Alien Breed 3D on the Amiga CD32. I'm pretty sure once we get a Team 17 Collection 2 on the Amiga Collections, we'll definitely get this game. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a surefire certainty. Um, this is probably the only game on this uh, video that I'm 100% confident about. Probably. <laughs> probably. So what else could we see? Could we see a ColecoVision Collection? There's a small possibility that could happen. Um, what about an Atari Jaguar Collection? I think this one's very, very unlikely. However, there was five games released as part of the Atari 50th collection that was released in all formats uh, recently. And there was five games that, yeah, they emulated pretty well. Will Blaze and Atari Company Agreement and release a cart with just those games on it? Who knows? It's a possibility, but I doubt it. Okay guys, what do you think? Do you think we'll see any of these formats on Evercade? Is there any formats out there that I've not included in this video? Let me know your thoughts and I'll join in the conversation. Again, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.